The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has launched an investigation into allegations that some of its officers accepted 15 million naira bribe from Idris Okune, known as Pobriski, to drop money laundering charges. The investigation initiated by EFCC chairman Ola Olukoyude follows a viral video of Martins Vincent Ose, that's a very dark man that he made against Bobriski. Now, Dele Oyewole, EFCC head of media publicity, confirmed the probe and invited both Bobriski and um, very dark man to assist in the investigation. EFCC assured the public of a thorough investigation, emphasizing its commitment to transparency and integrity in addressing the allegations. If we had enough time on our hands, we would have played the video of when a uh, very dark man was actually making this allegation. He did not just come out to make allegations. He played the voice note of Bobriski when Bobriski was telling someone, according to the allegation, that... He was not in prison. He was in a building in an apartment close to the prison. In fact, his godfather called one person and the other person called the other person and they made provision for him to stay outside the prison. And he was told within the six months to make sure he doesn't come out so that nobody sees him. That's one. Two, you should make sure he does not go online. So that nobody knows he's not in prison. And then he also talked about the reason they brought up the spraying, the Naira abuse charge. It was because they had to drop the money laundering charge after he had paid 15 million Naira. And so they just had to come up with something which was the Naira abuse. Okay, let's, let's, let's hold you up for Naira abuse. Now, these are the allegations on ground and Twitter has been burning hot for some days now. Let's get your thoughts on this story. Well, uh, I do not expect uh, anything strange because that word Bob Risky means that dealing with Bob is a risky uh, <laughs> activity. <laughs> and uh, I equally want to feel that it's part of the riskiness in their dealings. Again, I will want to uh, appreciate the EFCC uh, for being uh, you know, apt in response. And then the author of that uh, claim has been invited, and also the accused has also been invited to help them with the investigation. With the investigation. So let us wait and see the, investig the result of the investigation. Mm. You know, uh, Nigerians, most people are very, very untruthful. Most people are very, very arrogant. Oh, how can they keep me in the prison? Maybe in trying to return back his public uh, respect and image. He may have made that assertion and claim, you know. So uh, but he's I, even saying he's saying that was not his voice. So this is not even him saying. Okay, so which means in I said it out of joy good, or I was lying or good. something. So so I think uh, the investigation will uh, tell Nigerians who is telling the truth or who is trying to tell lies. And I believe that uh, EFCC. In no distant time, would give us the reports. And the another, report another, another reason this is uh, you know hot out there is because of the names that were mentioned. Now, from that voice note, you hear names like Faust, the bad guy, being mentioned. You hear names like Femi Falano, which is Faust's father, being mentioned as part of the whole um, scandal that's going on currently. And you know that these are individuals that Nigerians look up to, especially when you talk about you see, San yes, Femi it, Falano. It, 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 uh, Anything can happen in Nigeria, and uh, especially when it looks as if uh, our elder statesman, you know, when he does well, I commend him, and when he doesn't do well, I also say, uh, Daddy, you, do, you didn't say well this time. Uh, because he has uh, been on the uh, field of uh, talking and speaking when government have not done well, it's possible that government may... Uh, have looked for an avenue to run down his voice or his reputation. Some people in government, if I will use that word, not government in general anyway, it's possible because politics is being played in everything in our country. So, uh, but that's not to say is the truth. Mm -hmm. But I'm always saying that I don't believe that our uh, revered uh, legal luminary, uh, Papa Femi Falona, S-A-N, will be involved in such kind of uh, deals okay. you know so i want to pray and encourage the economic and financial uh, 
uh, crime to uh, ensure that Nigerians come to know the truth because of, in quotes, the rival people that have been accused and then the integrity of the EFCC is challenged. Yes. And, and I believe that EFCC will not take it lightly. They will give Nigerians the truthfulness of that statement. But how do we even get Nigerians to really trust the system anymore? Like, how do we put an end or how do we curb the incessant cases of corruption that we keep hearing about? Because this is not really the first time. This story, although it's new, right? But this is not news to a lot of Nigerians because time and time again, we keep hearing that money changed hands when somebody went in or somebody went out. Some well, cases we hear um, about probing and then later we don't hear those cases anymore. Seems like it's been swept under the carpet. No, no, no. It's and when people are asking, we don't hear anything about it. You see, most times bringing up issues in the media is expensive. And most times, too, people following up matters are not uh, cheap. So it was expensive now, when. No, no, no. It's when it's, it's time to give us updates, it's expensive. But no. when it was time to tell us, oh, you are, you are no, probing no, them, no, it no, wasn't you see, expensive. Let me, let me also mention here. When a matter is in court, the law bars you from talking about them so that it will not amount to content of court. Mm -hmm. Now, when a matter is in court, the court proceedings, uh, it has a, is a process. Our judicial system most times is not very fast. So if a matter is still in court, you may not really hear much about it. We, hear, we hear about it. Now, Even when it's in court. It, the court does not, the law does not stop the media from carrying a case that is in court. No, no, no. no I'm, the law does not stop the media from giving updates on a case that is in court. I'm, 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 I'm coming. So when you're now, making that statement of talking about it, it's different from the media carrying it. That's what I'm saying mm. now. I'm talking about the source. Of course, if you talk about investigative, uh, investigative journal, journalism, you also have the right, the privilege to go to the courts to ask of the situation of the So individuals should no, 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 go to the media, court. No, 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 as a media... So uh, individuals should no, go to the no, court to a, ask questions. No, no, as the media is not carrying it. No, no media no, organization no, no, is carrying no, it. No, so it's, the, in the, it's in the media space and the media decided not to carry So you're saying no, the, the it, updates we don't get is from the no, media no, that we don't get. Yeah, you said, you said, yeah, no. Ambassador, thank you so much. No, we have made, me, you have made your no, point. No, let me Time's no longer on our side. We would have continued that conversation, but I see my...